when you send us over to fight for this country, we're 18, 19, 20, and 21, and 22, and we're just beginning our lives. When we come back disabled, we have to learn to live again. Walking through my yard, just regular two, three inch high grass is hard because the leg that I got, I have to make swing forward and just a little bit of uh, pressure against it. It doesn't like to go forward with the dog. It would, I think it would help me out a lot more. Before when I would fall, I'd feel isolated and alone. For instance, I fell in Arby's once my cane went flying 30 feet, dropped my tray, food everywhere. And about 10 people just kind of looked at me, confused, should they help, what do we do? Eventually I had to crawl myself over to a railing and pull myself up. And it got to the point after that where I was afraid to go by myself into a restaurant or a convenience store. I fear I'd end up on my face and crawling around on the floor again. With Clark, I don't, I don't have that worry anymore. They give them the courage to leave the house when maybe they didn't have it before, whether it's an insecurity or a fear or it's just being alone. I think I'm most proud of an organization like Freedom Service Dog in the sense that they care. The people that run the organization care. I'm very proud of the relationship this office has with Freedom Service Dogs. There's nothing like it across the country. The most amazing thing about our organization is when a client comes back and says thank you, tells us a story, and the dog was there to help them. I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. Sometimes it can be pretty extreme, flashbacks, nightmares. Since I've had Clark, it's improved quite dramatically. Clark will open a door for me. Here at the office, he sees the elevator button, he pushes it, calls the elevator, we get on the elevator, we go to work. We started Operation Freedom, which really was just um, purchasing dogs for veterans. I don't know what I would do without human service dogs. What they've done for me is giving back my freedom by providing a support dog. She knows more about my disabilities than I do. She knows what I need before I do it. She's my legs. The difference between having a dog and not having a dog is having independence and not having independence. When I get a dog, it'll actually help me so that I don't actually have to depend on the walker all the time. It'll also give me a companion that I can be with uh, so that I'm not, even if I'm on, uh, on my own, I'm not by myself. At this point, I'm just waiting for them to be able to find a dog and uh, you know, have the funding to uh, be able to uh, train the dog and provide it to me. Freedom Service Dogs needs funds and needs volunteers. The need is greater than the supply, uh, by far. Every one of us veterans is somebody's mother, brother, sister, aunt and uncle, or dad and mom. This war coming back now is going to have many more disabled veterans in the sense that they're, the modern equipment, the technology that they have are saving more lives. So this country has got a responsibility my life right now is dedicated to giving to them everything that they gave to us. As American citizens, we need to be more involved with groups like Freedom Service Dogs that are reaching out to veterans. Would you guys be a hero to save a hero? Would you support Freedom Service Dogs? I hope you can support Freedom Service Dogs to help vets like me.